Hey, it's Chad with West Tennessee K9. I'm here with Ox. We are doing a follow heel today. Um, he was here for a five day boarding train. He is on uh, day number four. Um, so he'll go home tomorrow. We are working on a loose leash heel. Um, gonna transition into a follow walk. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn into Ox and I'm gonna pull him behind me. I'm gonna turn again. So I'm doing two things. I'm taking my right foot and stepping in front of Ox. With my left hand, I'm pulling him behind me. So contrary to popular belief, to keep a dog in a good heel position, uh, you don't just keep correcting. You'll end up with a tug of war. Uh, the trick and the kind of the skill to it is to teach the dog um, a position by healing. This is if you're not gonna use an e-collar, you're just gonna use a uh, leash and prong. Um, so I'm gonna do my turns to teach this dog to stay in position. So I'm gonna turn one way, about face. Good. Dog has to focus on me. Ooh, behind me, perfect. I'm gonna do a inside turn. So I'm gonna turn into him, pull him behind me. And I may not turn like 90 degrees. I may, you know, take a little transition to the left, to the left, pull him behind me. And every time he goes to get ahead of me, I'm gonna get him behind me. And so by doing these turns, remember dogs learn everything through repetition. So by doing these turns over and over again, the dog learns to just follow you. Now I'm walking kind of fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. If the dog continues to get ahead of you, um, we have a natural tendency to speed up, but we actually need to slow down. So I'm gonna slow way down. I'm gonna step in front of him, pull him behind me. And so I'm gonna do this over and over all day until he understands to follow me. So in front of him, pull him behind me. There we go. Making myself dizzy. Now there shouldn't be any tension on the leash. The leash should be relaxed. Okay. Um, no smelling when we're walking. No stopping to pee when we're walking. Um, the dog should be in a pretty good position. I'd like him a little farther back and we'll work on that uh, throughout the day. Uh, but he's not charging ahead and there's no pressure on the leash. So if he gets ahead, I'm just gonna turn the other way. Total about face. I don't want myself dizzy looking at the phone and looking at the dog too. So teaching a dog to walk in a proper heel is less about correcting and more about uh, teaching the dog what position it's supposed to be in. If you're gonna use an e-collar, um, it's a little easier to teach a dog to a solid heel. Uh, is quicker to do on e collar. Uh, a lot of folks don't want to use e collars, and that's perfectly all, all right. Um, so, we teach a good follow heel with just a leash and prong. It's Terry with West Tennessee K9. I sure hope this helped.